What's up guys, this is Edgar from Edgar's Finds. In today's video, I'm gonna go dumpster diving and I'm also gonna share 37 items I found in this very own dumpster in the past three months that I sold. Well, I mean, I found way more, but in the past three months, I'm gonna show you um, a few good things that I've sold. The first thing I noticed was the um, the big box of books. I, I just kept them in there. <clears throat> um, later on, I, I put more stuff in that box, more books and stuff. But uh, first item I pulled up was the, this coffee kettle. Um, I found four machines in total later on. And uh, I mean, nowadays they're like 20 bucks for for a coffee machine so i left that behind these shoes this pairs of shoes that i found they had a tear in the uh, in the bottom part they were in like nice condition but that tear was like eh, i don't feel like selling that and uh yeah there's this one heel inside one bag and and like I said earlier, um, this thrift shop throws away like one shoe at a time. So you, you'll see like a lot of shoes, but it's just one They're missing the pair. Uh, this travel book of China. And this book. I found two Harry Potter books. I think there was one. This was one of them. Um, now, if you could find a Harry Potter that's like first edition, um, where her, the writer, her, her, she spells out her name. I heard those were those are worth a lot. There's a uh, tons of plush that I that I pulled out from here, and Scrabble. Actually, I'm going to open it up to see if it's if it looks complete because I have probably around I pulled out from here for I'm going to pop up the um, my first photo. Actually, um, in April, I sold because I found four and um, some of the boxes were torn and uh, some of the game pieces were missing and stuff. But I put one complete one and then I have another one. That's like half, or more than half, actually. So I found this one. This one's the travel edition. Uh, the tiles are a little bit bigger than the, the the regular one that I found a while back. But, um, yeah, I took it. Actually, I, I, um, I just opened it the other day, and it's complete. So it works out. It's uh, 100 tiles. It's supposed to have 100 tiles. Well, the next thing I sold on April 4th was this yellow, um, the, the, the brand surprise, um, does really well and it was brand new sealed. So I sold it and it was good. Also, I found the sequence, uh, game board. It was at, well, I sold it for twenty nine ninety nine, plus shipping on top. So I did really good. Um, sometimes I find in the trash, like, um, cookware or like stuff like that. And like a lot of stuff, it's missing parts. It's missing its lid. Um, uh, this is like a Hamilton, I think it was kind of like a crock pot. Um, can't, it's, a, it's a slow cooker. Um, but I didn't find it was missing like a, the inside part. Yeah, some of the some of the water bottles um, are missing their like their lids and stuff. But let's let's get to the other items that I've sold. Um, this Sony DVD player, I tested it. It worked. I was like, perfect. Seven bucks plus they paid shipping, so it worked out. 
the Steve Madden heels, they were like, they looked brand new, but on the inside of the strap, they were kind of peeling a little bit. So I had to, you know, price them down a little bit. So, but I still made, you know, I got them for free inside this dumpster. So it was cool. Um, and then this, uh, this keyboard, it was brand new. Like, like the box was, I was about to open it, but I saw the seal, the factory seal. So I just kept it as is. Uh, let's see what I found. Oh yeah, this, uh, I think this brand was, uh, Anchor. It's a uh, cookware. I, I've, um, listed a lot of like Anchor and the glass is broken. And, um, Pyrex. You could bake it and it's, it does good with temperature. And the Crocs that I saw earlier, but, um, I never found the, 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 the pair. All right. Item number seven I've sold from this trash can. Um, what's the exorcist 1971 by William Peter Blatty. Um, 789 plus shipping if you're new to ebay or selling and stuff a pop socket um for media anything under a pound ships for 280 um just like this vhs i also shipped it out for 280 so it's not that bad also the the lol surprise it was brand new sealed 11.50. It's cool. Blade Runner VHS as well. I sold it. <clears throat> um, That one took quite a time. I remember I picked that one up before the uh, the Exorcist. Because I, I used to um to write sure. And so I would always pass by by this trash can um on the weekends. But they throw away a lot of good stuff. I mean, I'm sharing with you guys the um, stuff that I sold in the past three months. But before, um, like in the winter, I, I found another book. I think I, I think I kept that one. Yeah. Um, in the winter, I've, I found like a VHS player. That one sold for sixty nine, I believe, plus shipping. I found uh, snowboards. I found uh, snow boots that I sold. I sold them for 58 I think I took an offer. But, I mean, I, I found a lot of great stuff. Uh, next thing up, brand new, um, oh, wait a minute. Keurig. <laughs> this Keurig and the, uh, the last item that I find in the video, if you watch all the way through the end. Uh, I I came home. I plugged them in. I tested them. I mean, this this Keurig is perfectly good in good condition. They just, I guess, they just did want to want to clean it a little bit, you know. And they threw it out. I was like, man, I can't believe they threw this, you know, perfectly good machine out. So I came home. I tested it, cleaned it a little bit, and uh, my roommate came home and. And he was like, oh, man, let me buy them from you. So um, I think I'm going to just give it to him or sell it to him for cheap, you know. This pair of shoes that I found, I think they were Aces or Reeboks. One of those, but they ended up having, like, I inspected them. They looked, like, real good. The thread was still good, but, yeah, the tip was torn. Can't really tell, so I left them behind. So, um, next item up that I found was the, uh, it's like a shaper panty. It was brand new. Um, I've noticed that. 
even if people donate brand new socks and underwear or something stuff like that they they throw it away like even if it's and and their packaging um i guess they don't sell that uh stephen king stephen king book always does good i i um a couple of months ago i found like i think it was uh six books stephen king's books and uh yeah they did pretty good on them Got another all right next item up that i sold april 13th was a to me um if you guys don't watch part-time pickers he's always talking about to me and as soon as i saw it i recognized the the um the logo that they have and sure enough it sold for 10 bucks plus they paid for shipping so that was cool more items that i found in this bin was uh a couple of books the first one was the number of the beast uh, i didn't make that one that much money on that one but marley was perfectly sealed guys perfectly sealed sold it for 20 bucks i actually took an offer because i had it for 30 and then the third book um that i found was a book by vladimir kush this book was like i don't know it was, it was a huge like it was 14 by 14 by like three it was a big thick book and it was really really nice inside and yeah there was people selling them for 70 bucks so i i just i think this lady sent me an offer and so we ended up agreeing on 66 bucks and she lived in um in spain so uh yeah look at her she, she's more than 120 bucks more than 30 130 right yeah um into this book so i was like cool in the trash guys i found it in the trash let me see i've i've um sometimes i'll keep like little i found a frisbee so I'll, I'll keep like little makeup bags maybe i could pair it with something else that i'm having right or make kind of like a fruit basket if you say there's a lot tons of plush in there i just i, just, I, I have a few things on my store my ebay store that's plush but All right, um, let's go to the next item that I found. It was this uh, power adapter. I think it was for a computer or something big like that. Um, it was uh, 1290. Just threw it into a flat rate shipping envelope. Um, I made like five, six bucks out of it. Um, shoes, actually, the White Mountain uh heels were were pretty nice i just threw them up to see if you know somebody threw me an offer i got an offer for seven bucks took it right away um this tower fan i came home plugged it in it worked perfect so sold it 10.89 um now I, I base my prices on the current market so if something's like, like earlier, you know, the, I only got, you know, four bucks, five bucks for a book. Um, I don't mind because books are super easy. You just scan the back, tells you um, the information. I'll copy that information and sell a similar item. So I'll just snap a couple of photos, put them up. It takes me not even two minutes to list oh water goggles okay cool it takes me not even two minutes to to list something so if i mean i'm already going to the post office i go to the post office every single day you know i have um i have uh one day shipping 
what business they shipping, but oh, the Da Vinci Code, that's the first book I actually saw walking up. Um, so if I'm going to the post office already, I don't mind. Like if that's the only thing I sold the whole day, then yeah, it would, you know, I would be wasting gas to go for that one two dollar book that I sound uh, that I that I sold but um I, I mean I, I'm taking multiple items to the post office so that one book paid for my gas to take the other things you know what I mean that's that's the way I look at it Um, the goggles, I put them in the box that I'm taking because I sold these, these guys, um, for $14.95. I came home, give them a little good rinse, took good photos of them and, um, yeah, so $14.99. Um, I offered free shipping, but it was, uh, they were under a pound. I think it was like. 12 ounces or something like that. It costs them more than five bucks to ship it. So, you know, the rest is profit. <laughs> that phone, actually, I'm going to show you guys in a bit. Um, I, I didn't end up taking it because it looked kind of crappy. But I, I sold a corded phone. Um, I'll show you guys. I found this bag of t-shirts. Um, what I kind of did notice from this uh, thrift shop because of the pandemonium that's going on, um, they're not taking new inventory. So a lot of people leave stuff in the front. A lot of people leave stuff in the back. So they threw away um, a bag full of t-shirts. And I'm going through them to see if there's any cool bands or vintage uh, t-shirts in there. But I didn't really see anything. I Going through this trash can really, really slow because I did not plan to go dumpster diving. I remembered that um, stores are opening back up. I was in the neighborhood. This thrift shop is uh it's close to hollywood it's close to hollywood it's close to beverly hills i mean i don't want to give away my source but it's 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 around there and so they throw away a lot of good stuff um so i forgot my gloves i didn't have one in my car it was this was unplanned so um there's a lot of broken glass all the way in the bottom usually you'll find smaller good stuff like jewelry money i've I found you know coins and stuff um all the way in the bottom but i don't want to get too deep in there because i know there's glass down there some bowl right um next item next items up that i sold over the past three months was these um like kind of like anxiety depression uh sessions with this doctor and um anyway there's just some books it's a series but hey they sent me a i had them for more they sent me an offer for 30 bucks i took it um I think I'm gonna, yeah, I'm about to jump in there to the next one. So the, the, the love of, I, the, the thing that I love finding 
is items still on the wrapper like this uh wired mouse you know the perfectly good mouse found it sold it for 10.99 that's cool i'll take that anytime i found this rain jacket um look for for holes I'm like, hey, I could use it myself if nobody wants to buy it, you know? So this is what I usually do. Uh, I always find lamps and stuff like that. Um, I, I don't like to deal with large things that are going to cost a lot of money to ship. Or just to package it is just, just a hassle sometimes. And then another coffee machine. Yeah, the kettle that I found earlier. Mm -hmm. um, this one actually had a bunch of clothes. Oh, there's the other Harry Potter book. I was like, hell yeah. So when I, <clears throat> I check for the, for the year inside, I can't really... Yeah, that's too bright. There you go. I always check the year. It's kind of torn a little bit, but somebody could use it. So next items that I sold, um, a Nike duffel bag, like a gym bag, 16 bucks and the buyer paid for shipping. I think they were all the way in New York. Um, it looked nice. Like there was literally like a little bit of like dirt in the bottom, but I dusted it off and it looked brand new. It was cool. Other thing that I that I sold was this um credit card imprint uh, machine it's a big heavy machine that um you know when you used to pay for a credit card back in the day if you guys don't know um they used to make a copy of it all these skewers I I brought home I don't think I've listed them yet All this banana holder. I sometimes I'll, I'll sometimes I'll, I'll um, reach back and grab stuff again, but um, I, I didn't keep that one. I, I just threw it away again. Oh, Pokeball! I uh. I have another Pokeball I'm going to pair with, and then um, sell it as a set. It's like a little plush toy. All right, next item up. It's a vintage 1982 Sharp calculator, scientific calculator. It's not a graphing calculator, but it was pretty cool. It was... Um, those uh like solar powered ones twelve ninety nine why not got it for free right sometimes they uh let me see what I found there. Oh, yeah. Um, coffee bags. I found like a whole sack of coffee bags. And that's why I paused for a while because I always check, you know, the, the expiration dates. And they were still good. They don't, they don't take, if it's like items that are like edible and stuff like that. Um, they don't take them. I've, I've, uh, I've noticed that. Or like creams. Um, 
shampoo, deodorant, stuff like that. They don't, they don't, they don't take. They just throw away, even because of the pandemic. Um, which brings me to the next item, was a um, kind of like a face wash type of cream, and um, yeah, had the seal and everything. It was brand new. Sold it for thirteen plus five dollar shipping. Oh, that's a, like a, a vanity um, carrying bag. I might keep that one. It's really nice. It's leather. But I might sell it too. Jewelry box. Um, so along with the face wash cream, um, I sold some water river shoes. Um, 15 bucks. They were nice, nicely used. They still had thread in the bottom, so I just listed them, sold them. Next item that I sold was this three pack of, um, you know, the trial size perfumes. It was a. Uh, in a little gift bag, and the gift bag was sealed. Um, so yeah, I checked the the perfumes, and they were complete, full. So I think this one I had them for more, but they <laughs> pizza. I think this one um, I had them for more, but they sent me an offer or something like that, and we we agreed on ten fifty plus five bucks shipping. Hey, that was cool. Oh, I found two um, snake print purses. I always check the inside because, like I said earlier, I always find, um, like, I found money, uh, IDs, uh, bus passes and stuff like that, gift cards. I'm also checking for the brand. But the, um, I don't know, stink print. I left them behind. I could have, I could have lighted them up, right? Oh, Minion. Yeah. I thought that, um, it had like a little patch in the bottom. I thought it was like a talking Minion, but... Um, there was no like battery pack. I checked the 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 body for for hardness. All right, next item that I sold was a uh, Anne Rice. Man, there's so many listings for for um, her books. So I um I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just you know, there's a lot of books for like three bucks each so i was like i'm gonna lot them up that's 10 bucks and i think i paid like 35 cents for to promote it and yeah sold for 10 bucks this next item that i sold was this 1800s roger brothers oh this t-shirt says good bush bad bush there's like weed and then president bush glass broken glass next item up was 1800s roger brothers gold tone stainless steel um it was like a i didn't know like what it was until like just googled a bunch of images and it was like a gravy uh scooper So yeah, sold it for ten bucks. I always find cushions. I um I brought home like 
three cushions and uh, I was like, eh, they're, they're in my death pile, for, to be honest with you. I think I remember watching the cartoon of the snowman. I think it's Frosty. Is that Frosty the snowman? I um I haven't listed it. Oh, I, I I always check the tag to see the year. I haven't listed it, but I'll get to it. Next item that I sold was his 1958 Webster's Dictionary. Um, didn't sell for much, but it was, it's a cool find. Seven bucks, buyer paid for shipping. I always find blankets and stuff like that. This plush had like rainbow colors and stuff like that. Later I find another, uh, rainbow. I think it was a bunny. Right. Next items that I found was uh oh wait a minute. Oh was this book. Can't remember what the What the book was for. I, I still haven't listed it. It's in my death pile. Um, next item that I sold. Was this uh, weight. Uh, waist trainer. It's kind of like for your lower back. Or your abs. Um, you spin around. And yeah. 20 bucks I sold it. Within a couple of days. And the. Um, the vintage phone I was telling you guys. About. Sold it for 20 bucks. It was old, ugly, 1988 AT&T telephone. That was pretty cool. My my aunt used to have one of those. It was uh, like she had like a super long cord for she could go to the next room, you know. Uh, I found this uh, <clears throat> Black & Decker uh, coffee machine. Again, you know, if you go to Walmart, I'm hitting ticket clearance. You can find it for 17 bucks. If you saw my first video, um, you'll see it there. And if you haven't, go check it out. All right. Next item that I sold was this uh, vintage um, magnifying glass. It didn't have a glass, but like the handle and everything was like super vintage. And yeah, sold it for twenty five bucks. I, had, I think I had it for thirty, and they sent me an offer for for twenty five, and I, I was like, all right, cool, I'll take it. Oh, at the at the beginning of the video, um, there was a lot of those uh, things on the floor. <clears throat> they were just like sofa cushions. Uh, without like any cushion inside. All right. There's broken glass everywhere. Next item up was this um, Canway travel duffel bag. This thing was huge, but it was also collapsible. You could like use the same zipper to like kind of like zip it inside out, but. It zips into a smaller bag and it holds it in. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. 14 bucks. They pay for shipping. Or oh, there's that uh, glass kettle for the Black & Decker. I, I didn't end up taking it. It's it's too too cheap. Like if I ship that thing. I mean I could have sold it on Marketplace or offer up or anything. But I had to get 5-10 bucks out of it. Oh, Merrill, <clears throat> these hiking boots uh, do really good, but I only found that one. 
I didn't find the, the pair. Next item up was uh, 1952 uh, The Natural. That was a good find. 25 bucks. And it looked it looked good. Like they when I when I shipped it, I um I packed it real nice and uh sent it off to the buyer. Oh there's the box for the uh for the black and decker. Yeah, from Target. Yeah, I mean, sometimes people will just, you know, upgrade and those things they donate or maybe they don't like coffee that much and they, they just, uh, it still works. Uh, some of the stuff that I throw on the side, I'm going to pick up later, but um, sometimes if there is like office supplies or stuff that I use for my business like scissors and like stuff like that then um yeah I'll just I'll just keep those All right, next item up. Pyrex. Uh, there's two measuring cups. One was two cup measuring cup, and another one was a single cup measuring cup. And I had them listed for more, but then I, I went back, double checked it, and people were just like selling them for dirt cheap. So. Um, I actually, I, I got a, somebody that liked my item. I don't know what that is. The, the wooden thing I just showed right now. It was like a, like an iPad or a, at first I thought it was a cutting board because it's nothing but wood. But I, um, a book stand maybe. So I, um, yeah, I sent out an offer. For 17 bucks and they took it plus shipping oh there's that bunny with like rainbow colorful gear I, I didn't end up taking it I just left it there Uh, there was a lot of um, clothes and blankets and like, I'm just like, you know, so I left, oh, there's the, the manual for the Black and Decker. Sheets. Usually I'll, I'll jump into one. Empty it out to the other one and then jump on the other one and empty it out to the other one. But like I said, I, I didn't have my gloves. I didn't want to go all the way down. Oh, I've, I've, I found like Xbox one controllers all the way in the bottom or remote controls too for televisions or old VCRs, stuff like that. You know, people need it. Because their controller went bad or stuff like that. You can't find those at the store. And if you don't want to use or buy a universal remote. Um, then, you know, the original is better. I've sold maybe five in the past six months. I don't know what that wire thing is. I just tossed it. So 
Sometimes I'll, I'll find like weird parts. I'm like, I have no idea what this is. Oh, those things are for like a um, like a food. processor they look like cheese graters these trash cans what I like about them is that um, there's it's rare that there's something dirty. Um, like I've seen other dumpster diving videos where like they'll dump like eggs or like food, you know, this is, you know, they don't sell food. So you don't see like hamburgers and milkshakes and rotten stuff. Usually it's mostly, well, like if, if employees throw away their, their, their trash, like it's in a bag that's tied you know so there's nothing really sticky or I always find lamps. That one, that one looked really like vintage. So I was like, I wonder if you know. Oh, but there's a big crack on it. Yep. Nope. It's a no go. a huge lamp oh that was Actually, I ended up keeping that um, that vintage USC uh, button. Oh yeah, I actually listed it the other day. Yep, put it in his pocket. <laughs> I mean, I wanted to make this video, you know, live, basically, you know, like the, the real truth, not just cut it and cut it and cut it. And you're like getting a bunch of amazing things in under five minutes, which in reality, you know, it takes time, patience and caution, you know, because there's broken glass all the time so i mean usually i'll find uh boxes in these trash cans so i can like if i find good stuff i could just throw everything in one box and then i'll take the box but if i mean it's recommended to carry you know ikea bags or maybe a box of your own and of course i 
you know, I left the things in my trunk for like five days. Um, I got home, I washed my hands, I sanitized my hands. Um, I took a shower. So, you know, any precautions that you want to take, you know. Oh, I'm checking if... <laughs> I'm checking if uh, if it's a vintage t-shirt or... I ended up leaving it behind. Yes, it looks nice, but... I ended up leaving them behind. I mean, if, hey, if you guys see something that's worth some good money, a well, shopping glass, um, let me know. Be like, hey, you should have taken the uh, the mug or whatever I pulled out, you know. I meant to throw that away when I got home. That was it was a uh, uh, plasticware, like forks and, and spoons and knives and stuff. It was brand new in the package. I meant to throw it on the other side, but it ended up in that box. So when I got home, <clears throat> I was like, "What the hell is this?" It was like a surprise by itself, you know. So yeah, I found this. Remember how I told you guys that people like donate stuff, so they've been throwing shit away. I I looked at it. Even the there was like propaganda that was like super old inside of it. Yeah, crock pot. I was like, no way. I mean, I, I've never seen... I've, I've always, you know, seen the, like, new crockpots. But this one was, like, ceramic inside. It had a glass top. And the knob, the cable. It looked... Basically, it looked brand new, but, like, old stock. I was like, oh, man. So, <laughs> the, this is... One of the things that I got home, I uh, I cleaned it, plugged it in, actually tested it. I put water in there, and it worked. I was like, "Oh man!" I checked the uh, uh, sold comps on eBay. I was like, "I'll make a killing with this one." Oh, those lamps that you put on your ceiling and you are in your car or any anywhere you want, you push it and it turns on. It was brand new sealed. I haven't listed them. Oh yeah, this little mug. Um, it was a vintage, like Coca Cola with Santa. It's from like the eighties. That was pretty cool. I um I ended up taking it, and the cops kept passing by, and then I also um when you get when you heard me say uh, oh here comes the competition, and I was like oh never mind, this is the guy with the flat tire. <laughs> Because I always see, like, uh, homeless people with their cards. And I was like, 
oh man, you know, they, they come and like, hey, did you find anything good? And they try to, you know, I mean, most of, most of them are nice, but you never know. A vintage uh, cassette carrying case with the zipper. That's funny. I, I didn't take it. I'm like, I, I could have. But. Yeah, I think. Uh, I was like, man, with this crock pot. I hit the jackpot. I don't need to find anything else. I'm done. I checked the time. It was like. 1 a.m. Oh, like, yeah, don't forget this one. Well, that's my time, guys. The crock pot worked. Um, I'll be listing uh, more stuff. If you want to check out my eBay store, is the link is underneath. Thank you for watching the video, for liking it. Please subscribe. Watch my other videos if you haven't checked them out. It's the uh, the Walmart hidden secret clearance videos. All right. This is Edgar from Edgar Finds. Uh, see you in the next one.